Although volcanologists have different bases for classifying volcanoes, one way to classify volcanoes is by their cones. By their cones, ibig sabihin yung kung paano sila na-form or kung ano yung itsura ng ating mga... Kasi diba, iba-iba naman talaga yung forms ng volcano. So now that you have learned about the relationship between volcanic emissions and the shape of its slope, so let us discuss now the three volcanic cones. Ano yung tatlo? We have shield, cinder, and composite cones. Hello my dear students! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me once again, Teacher Tin, your science teacher for today's vlog. So, in this channel, we are going to discuss about the different volcanic cones and also about the geothermal energy, how do ge the geothermal energy generate, how do volcanic eruptions affect the society, and what are the signs of impending volcanic eruption. So, kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 9. Okay, so let us discuss first the shield volcanoes. So, shield volcanoes are formed by the accumulation of lava that oozes out from the volcano. And these are examples of shield volcano. So, alam niyo ba na since non-viscous lava can flow freely, so a very broad and slightly dome structure that resembles a warrior's shield is formed like this. And an example of shield volcano is the Mauna Loa in Hawaii. Another example is the cinder cone. Cinder cones, on the other, on the other hand, so gawa ito sa mga ejected lava fragments. They are a very steep slope, a uh, wide crater, and are most abundant of the three major volcano types. So usually, yung pag may mga nakikita yung mga volcano, karamihan sa kanila, cinder cones ang itsura nila. And an example nga nito is yung Paricotin Volcano in Mexico. Third one, we have the composite cones. Ito ay tinatawag din na stratovolcanoes. And usually, sa mga stratovolcanoes, they are large, nearly perfect slope structure that are formed from alternate solidification of both lava and pyroclastic deposits. And ano bang example ng composite cones or the stratovolcano? The one perfect example of this type of cone is the, of course, our very own Mayon Volcano. Now, let us discuss the energy from the volcano. Meron nga bang energy na nakukuha tayo sa volcano? What is it? Since our country is a home to more than a hundred of volcanoes, energy has been tapped from them. Actually, the Philippines ranked second in the world's production of geothermal energy. Of the country's total electricity production, 27% is generated in the power plants. And the production of electricity from geothermal energy is cheaper than the electricity production using natural gas, coal, and hydropower. So now, do you have any idea what geothermal energy is? So alam naman natin lahat na ang ating mundo, yes, our Earth, okay, it is believed to be extremely hot from within. Sobrang init niyan, lalo na sa gitna. At yung init na ito na nagagaling sa Earth's interior, ito ang pinaniniwalaan na, na source ng energy na tinatawag nga natin na geothermal energy. So, the heat of the earth warms up water which is trapped in rock formations beneath its surface. The question is, how is the geothermal energy generated? Well, actually, the geothermal energy is generated in two ways. The first one is the geothermal power plants and the second one is the geothermal heat pumps. Magkaiba sila kung kung gaano kalalim yung kanilang heat source para makapag-produce ng energy. In geothermal power plants, the heat from deep inside the earth is used to produce steam to generate electricity compared with geothermal heat pumps that use the heat coming from the close to the earth's surface to heat water, provide heat for buildings. In the Philippines, geothermal plants are used to generate electricity in Albay, sa Kidapawan or Katabato, Calacalaguna, sa Tungonan Leyte, Bago City or Negros Occidental, Valencia or Negros Oriental, and the Bacon sa Sorsogon. Another question that may occur about the volcanic eruption is, 
how do volcanic eruptions affect the society? Well, of course, when we heard about volcanic eruption, the very first thing that comes into our mind is its negative effect. Yes, of course, there are, there are lots of lives that can be that can be lost because volcanic eruption is really associated with negative effects. It can cause loss of lives, properties. Of course, kapag kasi ito mga lava ay nag-flow or ito mga pyroclastic materials ay lumabas dito sa uh, dito sa volcano at nag-eject sa air, of course, nakakasira naman talaga dito ng paligid. Tingnan nyo ang nangyari sa Taal Volcano. Napakaraming mga properties yung na-damage. Ilang mga establishments yung nagsara bago pa sila nakabangon. Gaano rin katagal yun. So, well, well, actually, ito sa good naman. It has good and bad effect. So, may good side, may bad side. Lagi namang ganun, ba? For example, just like the eruption of Mount Pinatubo during 1991. So, one of the longest volcanic eruptions is, is this uh, uh, Mount Pinatubo that can cause a decrease of Earth's surface temperature for almost two years. Imagine yung dalawang taon na parang natigil yung kabuhayan. Sobrang laking damage nito at laking kawalan sa society. So, the strong winds during this eruption, talaga namang siya ay kumalat. Ano, um, kumalat itong mga aerosol particles, which is very toxic naman. However, kung meron din namang negative effect to, of course, volcanoes also affect people positively. Pero paano nga ba? For example, the eruption of Pita Pinatubo Volcano has created a spectacular scenery just like this. Yeah, kagaya na nakikita nyo ngayon. So, paano? Likewise, the eruption of Muzuwan Volcano in Bukidnon, nag-produce din siya ng very rich soils para sa mga magsasaka for years after its eruption noong 1867. Yung mga tao talagang nag-create sila. Uh, the people became very creative by also making earthenware out of ash wall from Pinatubo uh, volcano eruption. Siyempre yung mga ano nila, ito yung mga yung mga ash fall, yung mga lava na nandiyan. So di ba pwede pwede kasi yung mag-create sila ng mga kitchenware, yung mga ginagamit sa pagluluto, pag ginagamit sa lalo sa mga gawa ng sisig, di ba? Alam niyo galing din sa galing din yun sa pagputok ng volcano. So yun naman yung iba rin sa positive effect din mo na uh, volcanic eruption. Pero of course, sabi nga natin, everything that happens to us, it has good and bad effect. And of course, despite the advantages that people get from volcanic eruption, of course, the major concern now is how to reduce the negative effects of volcanic eruptions or the effects of disasters that can reduce loss and how to save lives. Kaya nga dapat, lagi tayong handa. Kasi napakadami talagang aftermath ng mga volcanic eruption. So, ang tanong, are you prepared? Are we prepared? Especially those people that are uh, living near the volcanoes. Near the volcanoes. Kagaya ng mga malalapit sa Taal Volcano, Mount Pinatubo. Ano ba ang kailangan gawin? So, what are the signs of an impending volcanic eruptions? So, according to the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or according to FEBOX, which is the government agency which is uh, tasked with monitoring earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. So, there are commonly uh, observed signs that volcano is about to erupt. Of course, this may vary from one volcano to another, but at least, kung nakikita natin yung mga signs na to, pwede na tayong mag-prepare or mag-evacuate. So, let us see. The first one is the increase in the frequency of volcanic quakes with rumbling sounds, occurrence of volcanic tremors. Kasi sa mga malalapit na lugar, ma parang mafeel mo daw talaga na parang may laging may dumadagundong. So, isa na siya sa sign na baka biglang sumabog na lang yung volcano na malapit sa lugar natin. Second is the, the increased steaming activity. Change in color of steam emission from white to gray due to a strained ash. So, syempre, may mga nilalabas na usok na yun. Kung mapapansin nyo sa pangapaligid nyo, ay bakit parang nagiging gray na yung, let's say, for example, kung may mga halaman kayo, parang nagkakaroon ng gray dun sa mga halaman, kung may sasakyan, bakit parang laging may ganitong ash? So, isa na yan sa sign. Third one is the crater glow due to the presence of magma at or near the crater. Kayo mga malalapit sa mga volcano, makikita nila parang tuwing gabi, parang merong maliwanan doon sa volcano. So, isa na rin yun sa sign kasi nagkakaroon ng glow sa crater. Next is for ground swells or inflation, right tails or grounds fissuring due to magma intrusion. 
Fifth, the localized landslide. Rock falls or landslides from the summit area which not attributable to heavy rains. The sixth one is the noticeable increase in the extent of drying up of vegetation around the volcano's upper slopes. Yan, talaga namang parang hindi na nakakabuhay ng mga halaman or ng mga gulay na pananim. Kasi, syempre, may mga toxic yun, mga toxins na nalalanghap ng ating mga halaman. Seven is the increase in the temperature of hot springs, wells, and crater lake near the volcano. So, kung meron kayong mga hot spring malapit doon, ano ah, bakit kaya sobrang init na ito? Hindi na siya kagaya ng before na tama lang yung init. Bakit tumataas? nag increase yung temperature niya. Eight, noticeable variation in the chemical content of springs, crater lakes within the vicinity of the volcano. The ninth one is the drying up of springs or wells around the volcano. Natutuyo na yung mga lake. Natutuyo na yung mga well. Yung mga, ano tawag doon? Yung mga, ano nga sa Tagalog ang well? Balon. Ayan, yung mga balon. Bakit parang wala na siyang tubig? Kasi syempre, mainit na. Nadadry na siya. Nag-evaporate na siya ng mabilis. And number ten is the development of new thermal areas or the reactivation of old ones. Appearance of solfataras. So that's all. Yun ang mga sign na pwede nang malapit nang pumutok ulit ang volcano. Okay, to summarize our topic for this lesson about volcano. So what is volcano again? When we say volcano, this is a natural opening in the surface of the earth where molten rocks, hot gases, smoke, and ash are ejected. Next, let us discuss the volcano's classification according to record of eruption and the shape of volcanic eruption. Of course, for the record of eruption, we have two, the active and inactive volcano. And for the shape of volcanic eruption, meron tayo tatlo, the shield, the cinder, and the composite. Now, what are the shape? What are the shape of volcanic cone depends on the three factors. So there are three factors. First is the composition of magma. Second is the temperature of magma. And the third one is the amount of gas. And always take note, remember that the heat flowing from the inside of the earth is stopped as a source of electricity in the geothermal power plant. Okay now, let us review the different vocabulary terms that we have learned in this lesson about volcano. So, simulan natin sa active volcano. Active volcano is a volcano that has erupted within the last 600 years and are documented by man or those that erupted 10,000 years ago based on the analysis of the data ball materials. Second, ash. Ash is a fragment of rocks and fine green lava. Caldera. Caldera is a volcanic crater that is formed when a part of the wall of the crater collapses following an explosive eruption. Cinder is a loose fragment of solidified lava. Cinder cone. This is characterized by a narrow base or steep slope. Crater. Crater is a funnel-shaped depression at the top of the volcano formed as a result of explosive eruptions. Composite cone is formed from alternate solidification of lava and cinders characterized by large and symmetrical slope. Geothermal is a heat coming from the inside earth. Inactive volcano or volcano that has no record of eruption. Lava, magma that has been ejected out of the volcano. Magma is a molten rock inside the earth. Chilled cone is formed by accumulation of lava resulting into broad, slightly doomed structure that resembles a warrior's shield. Silica, a compound silicon, slope, degree of slant or inclination. Summit is the peak of highest point. Viscosity is the resistance to flow. And the volcano is the opening in the earth's surface where molten rock, smoke, gases, and ashes are erupted. This is the end of our lesson vlog about volcano. I hope you learned something from this vlog. So in our next lesson, we will be discussing about climate. So stay tuned in this channel because our next vlog is all about climate. And stay tuned at abangan nyo lang. Leave your comment below at ating sasagutin yan. Thank you for listening in my lesson vlog. My name is Teacher Teen. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science Night. Bye!